A Monroe County man is continuing his push to build a school on his property, but he's facing opposition from the county and some neighbors. We first told you about Bobby Duffy about a month ago. At this week's commissioners meeting, Duffy will face his opponents once again. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams has the story. The Monroe County Board of Commissioners will vote again on Bobby Duffy's rezoning application. Duffy applied to change his property zone from residential to agricultural. He wants to build a private school off Anderson Road, but his request didn't pass. I am not petitioning to build a school. I am petitioning to change the zone, but people don't want to see the school want to stop it by denying me a change of zone. Duffy had an appeal hearing and that hearing was moved to this month. The Clayton County public school teacher is not giving up on his dreams to own his own school. Duffy explains that his school will focus on science, technology, engineering and math. It will be tuition based with about 50 students enrolled at a time. He says his property is the only one in the area still zoned as residential. He feels like he's being treated unfairly. I didn't ask no, anyone to give me this property. I bought it with my own money. But some neighbors don't like the idea of a school so close to home. Residents have raised concerns about noise and traffic issues. Okay, Duffy is feels his project is just misunderstood. No one has come to, to me and seriously sat down with me and talk with me and find out what I'm really trying to do. Bud Queen and his wife live right across the street from Duffy's proposed school. The Queens have no objection as long as the zoning is not changed to commercial. We saw it as being a very good benefit to the community here. They even plan to attend the commissioner's meeting in support of the change. I sent them a letter and told them that we, we are probably the ones the most concerned about it and we have no concern. One question remains, will Duffy's rezoning application be approved? He will find out at this week's county commissioner's meeting. In Monroe County, Jasmine Williams for 41 NBC News. Now, if the application is approved, Duffy says his next step is meeting the county's building codes. The Monroe County Commissioners will meet tomorrow at 6 p.m. 41 NBC will be at that meeting and we'll update you with the latest.